Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have, make sure that when you do, make sure you hit the little notification bell. Now I got that out of the way. Okay, little notification bell that tells you that we have a new video up. So things have been going along, moving along rather slowly on this project build we're doing here. So I decided there are a whole lot of things that are going to have to be done. So whether things go in the order I would like them to or not is kind of irrelevant. The world is doing whatever it's doing and I'm trying to control that which I can. So what I decided was I looked at it and I said, well, you know, I've been talking about it. I really should get a clutch pedal ready on this thing. So I went through a bunch of stuff. I found a lot of parts and pieces. And I went through them and cleaned them up, picked the best parts I had, and built a clutch pedal assembly without lubing it or anything. Then I took it apart so I could lube it, fit everything, and show how we're going to do this. So that's what we're going to do today, which is, I think, pretty cool. Okay, here is the main plate that holds everything. And this is not a grand prize. It's what I had. It'll look good once it's on there, and so it's what we're going to use. Now this goes onto the frame with these three holes. And then, of course, after this is all done, the kickstand will mount on it. So, here we have the three bolts that hold it on. And for everyone who thinks I should be using a box end, I'm using the open end. And again, this build right now is just a mock-up. This is, this is everything in place that we can get in place. I'm still waiting on the front end. But we will get it eventually. So... No complaints there either. Okay, this plate is now mounted. We're going to use a regular heel and toe foot operated clutch mechanism. So, the next part that we have to put on is this little shield. And it goes on thusly. Kind of neat. There's a little bolt that holds it right here. And that on the back side. This cover is not really super necessary, but I like it. I think it looks nice. I have one on Baby Doll, the pan head, and this one actually had original paint on it. So I didn't paint it, I just cleaned it up and said, you know, that's pretty cool. And I think if I polish it a little bit, it'll even be better. So, so as not to disappoint anyone. So there it is. Okay. So we're gonna tighten this nut and this holds that little shield on there, calling it a shield for lack of a better word. And I could not find anything but an original nut that I happen to have that holds that in place up here. Now that's really interesting because I went through all my parts and I found a bunch of different nuts and the only thing that fit it was this old rusty nut. I have no idea what that's about. But before this is over, I will find a nicer nut to put on there. Apologize to the bike. Okay. So that shield is on there. And this is the rocker pedal assembly itself. This little piece here is a friction disc. Okay, and it's an aftermarket piece. I found it in my parts. It was in nice shape. It didn't fit exactly, so I modified it a little bit. And now it does. And it really seems to work well. 
So I think we'll use it. Um, <clears throat> so if we put some grease on this shaft, we don't want to get it on that friction disc, but we do want to put it on this shaft. So I think we'll do that. Get a rag right here. Make sure I don't get that all over that disc. Okay. Yeah, this is some very used old stuff. And I was really pleased to find it in my parts room. Okay. And there it is. Now on the back side goes this disc. Can we see that okay, Mike? Okay. Then goes this spring. I'm sure there's a proper name for that spring. This is a lock tab so we can keep the nut locked in place. And this is the nut. Now I got some questions asked of me in the uh, comments section of the video channel. And the questions were how do you adjust this rocker pedal? Well if we go according to the book is one thing. The other thing is if it's your motorcycle it should be adjusted to you. And I really believe that. So I just tightened that nut to where I think it ought to be. And it looks pretty good. And everything is on but the spring. Now that's another area where you use a little grease. This is a brand new spring I found in the parts room. That made me pretty happy. A little grease right there. Again, this is old technology. This stuff's out in the breeze. And to put grease on it out in the breeze seems kind of funny, but that's the way things were done in the beginning. So there is that spring in place. And we'll rock it up like that. And there it is. And I'm really pleased. This is the position it will be operating in when the clutch is engaged. When we disengage the clutch, we'll rock the pedal back like that. Now the floorboards, I'm going to put footboards on this bike. There is a bracket will come out here. And a bracket that will come out down here. And the footboard will sit on those two brackets. And that's going to be pretty nice. I'm going to go through all my junk and see if I can find some nice brackets. And then eventually we'll be ordering a really nice set of boards for this thing. Now one of the things I didn't show, okay, a couple of things. One of them is this bracket does two things. One of them is it holds the clutch pedal. The other thing is it holds the kickstand bracket. That beautiful kickstand bracket I was showing off in one of the earlier videos on this bike. But you can see how all these parts will look to, when they're together. It's going to be pretty nice. We'll use all chrome bolts to hold this on and I think it'll look real attractive. Okay, other than that, what we have here and I don't know if we have the right clutch rod or not. Um, as I recall, there's at least three sizes, and I have all of them here. They're all represented here. But this is how it will be when it is in position. And the rod will go back to the arm that comes across the transmission. So for now, there it is. And... I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, because that makes me feel real good. So we'll be doing more of this stuff. I may get into that rear fender and oil tank here pretty soon. So we'll keep building with what we have while we're waiting for other things. So until then, see you out on the road.